I grew up in the around the same area where um, it's sort of depicted in the in the film, and, and it, it was in the shadow of NASA, and it was hard not to be excited about a story of of growing up um, around that and sort of the the fancy of the fantasy of of doing that. Literally, we I had neighbors who were astronauts. Uh, <laughs> you know, it was, it was such a weird thing. It was really cowboys and astronauts, like world class engineers, and you know people listening to country music, driving the trunk and riding their horses. You know, that was, yeah. it's not a cliche. It was real. Maybe one of the reasons why I do animation is because when I was a kid, I wanted to kind of live in the animated world. It seems so interesting because <laughs> anything could happen. This is a brainchild of Richard's, but it's also, like you said, you, you were in the same town, you went to the same elementary school. So this is, this sounds like it's like, you see a lot of yourself in this animation uh, as well. The interesting thing that, that I find about Rick is that he does have a knack for telling very specific stories in a way that a universal audience <laughs> can appreciate it. This is just about childhood. And, you know, mm -hmm. I, I tell everybody, I go like, well, if you've, if you, if you have children or you've ever been a kid, then you, then you'll like this movie. <laughs> <laughs>